Angela Hockman, and you have tuned in to In the Kitchen. Now, we have a guest on this show that is going to make carnivores run towards his vegan slash vegetarian restaurant. Let's welcome Mr. Jeremy Kirby, the chef de cuisine of Small Batch. How are you, Jeremy? I'm good, thank you very much. Awesome, well thank you for being here and coming into our kitchen and bringing your culinary genius. So what are we going to be making today? Uh, today I'm gonna to be making the cow soy dish from our um, dinner menu. Okay. Um, so you start with a little bit of chili oil. Cow soy, is this a pretty popular menu item? Uh, very popular, yes. Okay. And a little Here. bit of garlic. Ooh. I'm Italian, so I say you can never have enough garlic. Oh, yeah, I'm so the same bring way. it on. A little tofu. Ooh. And red onion. I'd say the tofu is the answer to vegans' protein question, right? Right, yeah. Awesome. So Jeremy, let's talk just a little bit about the menu. As a, a plant-based person yourself, have sure. you come up with all these menu items? Yeah, so I make um, all the menu items. Mm. I have a long history working with different uh, global cuisines, so that's kind of where I um, get a lot of my inspiration. Definitely. Um, I like to take uh, what I've learned in other kitchens and make uh, you know, vegan variations, and that's what we serve. I'm tell I think you really could fool even the most hardcore carnivore, am I right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yes, because I brought my husband in, he loves meat, and he was raving about your food, so. Great. You got one. Okay, awesome. So now what do we got? All right, so once it's all cooked for a little bit, then um, we have a house-made curry paste. Ooh, you want me to add it? Sure. It ahead. looks really good, you and just I drop love it right in there. curry. Okay. Ooh, house-made. Can I ask how you made this, or is it secret? Uh, yeah, I can tell you what's in it. There's a uh, galangal and kefir lime, uh, black cardamom, and then some ginger, shallot, garlic, and a few other ingredients, but... We'll just leave it at that for now. So Jeremy, from my understanding, you guys have a ton of global inspiration on your menu. I yeah. mean, you could basically take a trip around the world just by looking and enjoying your menu. Oh uh, yeah, thank you very much. So how do you go about creating these concoctions? Um, so I just, I like to take um, like cult classic dishes mm. from around the world. So like I like to uh, find the dishes that like if you were traveling and you asked a local, you know, what is it that you like to eat? That's the stuff that I like to go for. That's the key right there. It's like people, you know, you don't really want to be a tourist when you're traveling, so right. you say like, what would a regular person eat when they walk in? So that's how you essentially tailor these menu items. Yeah, I think cow soy is a good interpretation of that um, for like yeah. the Thai cuisine. I also do mm. uh, many other um, cultures, foods on um, my menu. I have some Ethiopian dishes, I have mm -hmm. Uh, German got dish. French dishes, French. you've got Brazilian inspired yeah. dishes. Yeah, we're all over the place. Awesome, what are we adding now? So this is a house made mushroom stock, and then Ooh. this is coconut milk. It's gonna make the base for the soup. Oh my gosh. So is this, would you suggest this as a small plate to share, or is it more of an entree or something that this is definitely people might get for entree. themselves? Um, you can share it if you want, but. Uh, it's that good, I probably wouldn't in. recommend sharing it. <laughs> a lot of people come in Ooh. and will order multiple things and share. So um, just kind of however you prefer to, Yum. to eat. That's and then so you just start adding the garnishes and that's it. Okay, what is your favorite garnish? I know everyone's kind of got their go-to. Um, of the ones that we use, the crispy rice noodles are really Ooh. interesting. So we just take those and use a spice mix over the top. Yum, those um, look so good. Yeah, so it's like half of it is regular rice noodles, half of it is the crispy fried rice noodles. Perfect. Makes for really nice texture balance. Awesome. So, say it's a long day at the restaurant and you've been cooking all day. At the end of the day, you get to have your favorite item off the menu. What do you choose? Oh, my favorite item. Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I'm going to sure. put you on the spot. <laughs> um, right now, the tacos are really delicious. Um, they look good. Yeah, they're right over there. The wheat la coche tacos. Um, yeah, it's a Yum. fungus that grows inside of corn. Okay. Um, native to Mexico, so we'd like to keep it. I like to keep things really traditional, so I use a lot of like native Mexican ingredients. They also have a epazote in them. Oh my gosh! And this is not sour cream like regular sour cream, but it is. Yeah, cashew sour cream. Um, Incredible. Yep, all vegan, um, and then uh, ahi sauce as well comes on the side. Oh 
Oh my gosh, you can't get enough of those. It's very hard for me to concentrate when all of this delightfulness is right here staring at me and I get to smell it. Sure. So I'm going to let you continue that dish. And when we return from this short break, we are going to learn how the Bailey's family gets very involved in the community and loves to give back. You'll want to stick around. many reasons to love St. Louis, you can't pick just one. What I love about St. Louis is the 79 unique neighborhoods and 108 beautiful city parks, including Forest Park, which is actually larger than Central Park in New York, and the gorgeous Tower Grove Park right here. And there's always something new to experience, no matter the time of day or the season. So come and experience St. Louis. Hey, Bobo. Do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Welcome back to In the Kitchen. I have got Jeremy Kirby here, the chef de cuisine from Small Batch, and we are working on a really good looking dish here, the cow soy. So, Jeremy, a dish is not finished until it's garnished, right? Let's talk about how you're gonna top that off. Sure, so the garnishments on this dish are the most important part. Really everything else just acts as a base. <laughs> um, so to start, I have pickled kale. Pickled um, kale? How does one pickle kale? Uh, pretty much the same way you pickle anything else, just with some vinegar and water and salt and then yeah. uh, a few seasonings. Okay, great. So you just add that in right over the top. Um, and next is like a so bed good. for the next garnish, which is the crispy rice noodles. <gasps> Yummy. So Do you, are these actual noodles that you have, they were once noodles, you made them crispy? Uh -huh. Did you season them? What, what was the secret? Yeah, so we season them, um, really simple seasoning. It's just a little paprika and uh, salt. Okay, let's let the camera see sure. that. That looks so good, oh my gosh. Okay. So the dish has rice noodles in it, and then Ooh. Um, these go right over the top. The dish pretty much doubled in size. <laughs> that looks awesome. So where do you find this inspiration? How do you know what to top things with? Um, just, these are kind of traditional, really traditional toppings. Mm -hmm. um, I like to stick with tradition when making dishes. So, I mean, so the rest of it is cilantro and limes. Um, typically, it's Ooh. crispy noodles over the top. Okay. Um, some sort of pickled greens. I like to use kale. They kind of hold their uh, shape a little bit better than um, some of the other greens. Interesting. I noticed you're just placing the <clears throat> limes. You're not squeezing the limes. Is there a strategy that, to that? Yeah, I think it kind of adds to like, the playfulness when, when you can uh, squeeze it yourself. Okay. Or any, any sort of... Um, just watch your eyes, but make sure yeah, you yeah, get yeah. everything <laughs> evenly. Wear some gloves, yeah. watch your eyes. So what type of cilantro are you using, Jeremy? Uh, this is just regular cilantro. Um, yeah. yeah. Just regular cilantro thrown over the top, and then that would be it. That's how you get served in the restaurant. And that's it? Uh-huh. It's done. It is ready. Yep. Well, we are going to shift gears here because we've got another friend of the Bailey's family coming on. We've got community engagement manager, Kevin Arndt. Kevin, how's it going? Doing well, how are you? So good, good. so good, so hungry. Yeah. Lots going on in front of me. For sure. But yeah, I wanna chat a little bit about all the community engagement that the Bailey's family's doing. You wanna kick us off with Community Table? Sure, yeah, so Community Table is a monthly, um, event that we have at Bailey's Range. Um, so each month we partner with a local nonprofit, um, wow. and then from uh, the hours of five o'clock to 8 p.m., um, we just invite everyone out to have burgers and shakes, and we donate wow. uh, a portion mm -hmm. of the sales from, from that time frame to, to, their, to their nonprofit. So Kevin, what portion of the proceeds? I know a lot of restaurants do a lot of different percentages. Yeah, so for Community Table, we do 25% of, of total sales. Wow. Yeah. So it, yeah, that's it, incredible. It, it, you know, so it really depends on, you know, how how much uh, the, the the partner kind of promotes it. Um, 
but yeah, it's a you know it's a it's a it's a, it's a team project. Awesome. So this the, uh, changes yeah. every single month. It's, yeah. it's a new charity, a new, I mean, you've got new crowds coming in because totally. people want to support yeah, their yeah, favorite yeah. charity. Exactly. How fulfilling is yeah, that? Yeah, it's pretty cool to, to give back. So the word on the street is that there is a bike ride that you want to talk about. Sure, yeah. So every year we do the uh, Tour de Bailey's, um, oh. which is a 10-mile progressive bike ride uh, throughout the city of St. Louis. Um, oh, so check that out. Yeah. Do, you, do you ride too? Can we spot uh, you in the photo? Not, not this year, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a, it's a 10 mile progressive ride. We um, set stations up at, at all of our restaurants um, so the riders can kind of go from restaurant to restaurant and, and sample dishes and cocktails. And uh, there's even a stop at Urban Chestnut in uh, wow. Midtown where you can stop and grab a beer. Um, and then it um, kind of loops back around to, uh, to Rooster on South Grand. Incredible. Yeah. Just be extra cautious if you're sipping those exactly, cocktails yeah. and jumping on easy, a bike. You know, it's a marathon, <laughs> not a sprint. Absolutely. Pace yourself. That's enjoy right. all the good quality of life that you and the restaurants offer. Exactly. Um, let's talk about dining out. Sure, yeah. So uh, the St. Louis Effort for AIDS and uh, Dining Out for Life uh, is a um, once a year um, event that, I mean, tons of restaurants in St. Louis participate in. So basically, um, you'll have, you know, it's regular dinner service, but that night cool. um, the restaurant can, you know, donate as much of the proceeds as they like um, wow. to the St. Louis Effort for AIDS, Dining Out for Life. Uh, we happen to donate 50% of all sales at each one of our restaurants. 50? Um, 50%, yeah. So we've got, we've got eight restaurants, so that, that adds up pretty quickly. So yeah, our Bailey's Restaurants represents about 10% of the total donated sales in St. Louis. Absolutely. That's pretty special to, to give back that That's much. That's a yeah. huge name in St. Louis. That's yeah. a wonderfully generous percentage. Um, let's shift back to the food here because I need to know what's going on in front of me. It smells so good. Sure. Let's talk about this, Jeremy. Yeah, there's a few other dishes that I brought in. So um, the new menu item is the Wheat La Coche tacos. These are right here. Okay. Uh, we talked about those a little earlier. They have the cashew sour cream, the mm -hmm. ahi sauce. That you said ahi sauce? Uh huh. Can you describe what's in that? I'm fascinated. So it's a cilantro based sauce. It's a ahi verde. It's very similar to any other verde. Um, it's mainly uh, cilantro flavoring. Perfect. Um, I also have our cheesecake in. Um, <gasps> it's a rotating selection. Um, currently, it's a peanut butter and banana cheesecake that's going to be changing uh, very soon. Not too soon. It yeah. looks so good. <laughs> and again, cheesecake. This is vegan, you guys. Yeah, everything Can you describe is vegan. that? I have a feeling cashews are involved, maybe yep. coconut milk? Cashew, coconut milk, uh, peanut butter, bananas, and uh, date walnut crust. <sighs> Jeremy, please keep that on the menu just a little bit longer for sure. me. Yeah, yeah. And the whole STL TV family. <laughs> okay, and we've got to cover this one real quick. Okay, real quick. This is a, it's a Ethiopian-based curry. It's very non-traditional. I just used a lot of Ethiopian flavorings. Um, to build it. Um, it also has our house-made seitan over the top. Yum. Well, you know, I can't say enough about all the good stuff going on in front of me. You guys are so nourishing to your guests, to the community. I would love to just thank you both so much for your time, your energy, your generosity, and your expertise. <laughs> and we are definitely going to be sending some more people into Small Batch. And definitely, you guys, check out the website. That's where the menu is going to be. You can make reservations there. And of course, you're going to want to follow them on Instagram. We're all taking pictures of food anyway, that's right? right? Yep, that's right. Where are you going to put those? On the Instagram. Gram. All that's right. right. Well, thank you both so much again. Yeah. I sincerely appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thank yeah. You very much. I'm excited to jump into right. all this delicious food. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, absolutely. And we would like to thank our sponsor, Cozy Bear Creations. They're a St. Louis-based company specializing in a one-of-a-kind wood carvings. They make tables, toys, bow ties, even our lovely In the Kitchen sign here in the studio. You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook at Cozy Bear Creations. I'm Angela Hockman, and I just want to thank you so much for tuning in, and you'll have to follow us on social media.